Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building Italian aircraft carrier RN Aquila. Aquila, Italian for Eagle, was an Italian aircraft carrier converted from the transatlantic passenger liner SS Roma. During World War II, work on Aquila began in late 1941 at the Enslado shipyard in Genoa and continued for the next two years. With the signing of the Italian armistice on September 8, 1943, However, all work was halted and the vessel remained unfinished. Uh, the ship was eventually scrapped in 1952. So this ship here, Harian Aquila, would have been the first Italian uh, carrier of World War II, the first and only one. Uh, but the project obviously was canceled as the uh, peace treaty was signed and that was pretty much the end of the ship. It sat uh, basically just kind of rusting and, you know, falling apart um, in its uh, port and then basically was um, scrapped away in 1952. The ship for the most part from pictures seems like it was mostly complete, just missing some guns and some of the uh, kind of final touches and stuff of the ship, but for the most part it's pretty intact, so we're actually able to kind of build a good portion of it um, pretty accurate to what it would have probably been looking like when it when it service. Uh, it varies different from that, like the Graf Zeppelin, which uh, had only a hole built basically. Um, but uh, with that, um, before we go and jump into it, I do want to go ahead and give a special links to Derek Frost's Westbrook for commissioning this build. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build in the future, feel free to email me at uh, my email, garrett 24 at gmail.com, to discuss commissions and um, hopefully get a build of yours that you want commissioned, commissioned. With that though, let's go ahead and dive in here to take a look at uh, Aquila. So, Aquila here um, is obviously a Italian battleship. You can see, or battleship, but aircraft carrier. Um, it's a, got a, you know, it's striped uh, deck here on the front uh, to obviously match in with the rest of the Italian Navy. The green um, draft of the ship and obviously just the standard hull for it. As I mentioned, this was converted from a uh, civilian liner, so it's a pretty thin ship and just has some extra torpedo bulges put on the sides there to make it a little bit more um, protected against torpedoes and all that. Uh, on the sides here we have our anti-aircraft guns, we also have our actual gun batteries, probably about 5 inch or so gun turrets. We have two here and then two back there as well. You have uh, again a lot of anti-aircraft guns uh, located on the sides of the ship in different positions all the way around. And then we have the other side here, which is pretty similar. The main difference here, obviously, being that you have your conning tower and your funnel here to the side um, deck as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the ship. It's pretty straightforward. Should be a fun build to uh, add to our World War II BAFTA builds, especially since uh, this is our first and really honestly only Italian carrier we will have, uh, much like the Graf Zeppelin for the Germans. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move into our tutorial. All right, guys, so moving into our first layer here, we'll be going ahead and start with layer number one. Now, for layer one here, we want to make sure that we position this correctly in the water as this is going to be the start of our draft, so the underwater portion. So we just want to make sure that everything is squared away and good to go um, for that. So to kind of get started here with this, we want to make sure that our um, layer is starting basically one block underneath the water surface. You can see here this blue concrete represents that water level. And you can see we have our top side with dark prismarine starting right below it. Very important to make sure that's correct because if it's off or not properly set up, it's gonna sit weird in the water and you don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and be starting at this point here. Now, after we get to this point, we're gonna go ahead and then place down two dark oak with trapdoors forward from that top slab. We're going to go and then go back from the top slab, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 38 of these slabs back, so this should be a total of 39. So 39 overall slabs going all the way down the length of the ship here. Now after that's done, we're going to go ahead and then... Uh, go to our third and fourth slab from front. We're going to place down trap doors on the side here. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. We're going to take our dark prismarine. We're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26 slabs back. 
and then two more dark oak with trap doors. Same thing will be done over here on this side as well. And that's going to bring us all the way up here to the front. Now once that's done, we're going to go ahead and then go to the sides of the fourth and fifth uh, slabs from the side there. Then we're going to place down two dark oak with trap doors. Same thing will be done over here on this side. We're going to go ahead and then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Dark prismarine slabs back. And same thing will be done over here. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down two dark oak with trap doors to both sides, and that is going to complete everything we have for layer one. So layer one's a pretty easy layer. We're just kind of getting that base of the ship set up, and this right here is what it should look like for the top-down view. Once you have uh, that all done right there, you're going to go ahead and then trans on, transition up on up to layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to start with, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this trap door, then one more forward, and then a dark prismarine top slab coming off of that. We're going to place down a dark oak trap door to both sides of this green terracotta block. And then we're going to place down one, two, three more blocks going down the center here. We then want to place down two green stainless panes to the sides and a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides of that last green terracotta block. Going back from the mossy cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down an additional one, two, three green terracotta blocks back. Same thing on both sides. On the middle block, we're going to place down a dark oak trap door closed. And then we're going to place down a green stained glass pane to both sides. Going back from the green stained glass pane, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 green terracotta blocks back. And we're going to do the same thing over here on the other side. So going all the way back, and again, this should pretty much just stick one block past those trap doors on the outer row. Now, on this very outside here, we're also going to go ahead and place down a dark oak trap door on the side of the second and third blocks and make sure that they sit closed on the side of the ship. And then we're just going to take our green stained glass panes and we're going to run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 green stained glass panes back. And the same thing is going to be done over here on this side as well. So just like that. And then this last block here, we're just going to place down a dark oak with trap door on the two sides of it like so. We then want to place down a dark prismarine upside down stair. And then a stair coming off it. So you have a corner stair, then a normal stair, and same thing over here. And then we're just going to place down a dark oak with sign coming off the front here of this normal stair. Going from back from the stair, we're going to place down a dark oak with fence gate to both sides. That's going to be followed with a lightning rod coming off the fence gates for the props, and then we're going to place down a birch wood slab coming off those end rods, like so. In the middle space here, we're going to place down one, two green terracotta blocks, one, two on top of those trap doors, and we're going to place down another upside down dark prismarine stair, like this on both sides, an upside down corner stair, like so, coming off that, and just like we did before, a dark oak would sign on the side of that stair. We're going to go ahead and go back from the stair two dark oak wood fence gates or one fence gate on both sides I should say and then a lightning rod coming off those fence gates and then a birch wood slab coming off the lightning rod in the space in the middle here we're going to place down one two three green terracotta blocks and then a dark prismarine upside down stair a mossy cobblestone wall and then we're going to place down a green stained glass pane come off this wall like that on the back there after that is all done that is basically all you need to do here for this layer just make sure both sides are the same, and this right here is what it'll look like from a top-down view. Optionally, I like to personally fill in my ships as well, so I like to just kind of fill in this layer completely. You don't have to do this. Um, what you saw before was the bare minimum that you need to do to fill in everything. But for me, I like to go ahead and fill in the interior here, or the space that's left open, just to completely close it off and just kind of make it a little bit more of a solid build. But again, this is just kind of personal preference. And you don't have to do it, but I think it makes it a little bit easier going forward with the tutorial. Um, anyways, though, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for uh, layer number two. And with that, we'll be going ahead and diving into layer number three. Moving on to our next layer, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number three. For layer three to start with, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this slab here, a glass pane going forward. And then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five blocks back. We're going to go then place down an anisite wall to both sides. And then we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes going forward from those. And then a iron trap door to both sides of the stone block. 
We're gonna go ahead and take our debug stick, just right click those trap doors, close them like that. And um, the debug stick can be obtained for Java players by typing the command slash give at p, Minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this command here, press and enter will give you this glowing stick and you can go ahead and left click the trap door. To get selected open, it should say false. We'll right click that to say to true and it will lay flat against the side of the ship. You can also go ahead and use birchwood trap doors as an alternative, but iron trap doors are definitely the best block to use. And uh, again, they're kind of more optional. You don't really need to include the trap doors just for a little bit of shaping on the ship really when it comes down to it. Um, anyways though, after that, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks. We're going to go back one, two, three, and four from those walls. One, two, three, four. We're going to place down an andesite wall on both sides of the last stone block, and then we're going to go ahead and go for two like gray stainless paints. After that, we're going to go ahead and go back from the andesite wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Uh, stone blocks back. So let me just go ahead and double check my count here. Make sure that is good to go. And it is going to be 24 blocks in length here along the side. We're going to go ahead and go over to the other side and we're going to do the same exact thing. So just that row 24 of stone all the way along the side. Um, after that's done, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down iron trap doors on the side here of these two, uh, the, the third and fourth block. And we're going to go ahead and place or use our debug stick and close those like so. We're going to take skeleton schools, we're going to place a row 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're going to place down two more iron trap doors. Use the same techniques as before to close those or birchwood trap doors, whichever you chose to use. And we're going to do the same thing over here. And again, this is just helping us form the torpedo blister that was added to the ship. And just like that. Then after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go uh, back from these stone blocks with an inside wall and two light gray stainless paints. After that, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side as well. And then we're going to take our stone blocks and place down one, two, three blocks, one, two, three. And then we're going to place down just one more back on both sides. We then want to place down two inside walls going back from those stone blocks as well as two light gray stainless paints as well. And we're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks and just place our stone blocks down the middle here, a row of four like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down one and two more stone blocks back and then an iron trap door on both sides of the second to last stone block. And we're just going to go ahead and make sure we close those trap doors like that. And that's going to form up what we have here for layer three. Taking a look at it from up above, that's what it should look like. Again, we can go ahead and take our stone and fill the inside in here if you want to. Uh, again, just kind of helps make the build feel a little bit more solid and filled in, but not a total requirement to do. So again, we're just going to fill this in completely like so and just like that we have that all filled in and that is going to include everything I have here for layer number three for the build uh, as you can see we're starting to get a little bit of shape going got kind of the bottom done and we're gonna start working into our kind of flight deck level stuff and um, or I should say our hangar deck section and all that stuff. So uh, we're just continuing to work our way up. Let's move on to layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we're moving into layer four. Now layer four here is where we're gonna go and start to get into some asymmetry. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. And these next few layers here are gonna take a little bit longer for us to do. Um, but the whole thing is, you know, obviously this carrier is not symmetrical, so we have to do basically each side um, differently from each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of build the bow of the ship. Uh, most of it's similar across the board. Once it starts getting asymmetrical, then we'll go ahead and just focus on our right side, wrap it around the back of the ship, and bring it over to the left side and connect back up to the bow. So that is the plan going forward for this layer. Let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to place down a stone block on top of this glass pane here, and then we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four five stone blocks. We're going to place down an andesite wall to both sides of that last stone block and then two light gray stainless panes going forward from it. And then we just want to place down an iron trap door on both sides of this third from front stone block. And just make sure you take your debug stick here and close those trap doors or birchwood trap doors, whichever you have placed. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then take our uh, stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of three across the space here. And then a second row of three. This is going to be followed with an upside down stone stair to both sides of the ship like that. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down two more rows of three going down the center here, and then we're going to place down light gray stainless panes on the sides of those rows of three of stone. After we have that done there, we're going to go ahead and place down another row of three of stone, 
and then a inside wall to both ends. And we're also going to place down a light gray stainless pane coming off this uh, second light gray stainless pane there. And then an iron trap door in this section like that. We're going to go ahead and then just place down a row of five of stone all the way across this space here. And this is going to be followed with a light gray stainless pane to both sides like that. Now at this point in time, this here is where we're going to go and get into our asymmetrical bits. So we're going to be going ahead and focus our attention on the right side right now. Going back from the stone block, we're going to place down another stone block followed by an iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and then place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24 stone blocks going back. Now along the side here of this, we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 polished black stone buttons, a stone full block, and a stone top slab coming off that block, another polished black stone button, a andesite wall, a light gray stainless pane, then two more buttons, a light gray stainless pane, a button, a glass pane, a button, a stone upside down stair, and one last button like that along the right side. So this here is what your right side should look like. Then coming to the stern section, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone upside down stair that's going to be in this spot here. And then we're going to place down two stone top slabs back from it. On the inside here, we're going to place down two stone full blocks next to those top slabs. And then one, two, three blocks back. We're going to place down polished black stone buttons on the side of those three blocks. After that is all done, we're going to place down two stone upside down stairs. And then another upside down stair kind of coming off this one here to round off the back of the ship. And we're just going to place down a skeleton skull next to this stair. And same thing over here on this side. We're going to place down another upside down stone stair here, a second stair, so you have two, then one, two, three, four, five stone blocks forward. On your first three, we're going to place down polished black stone buttons, then two stone top slabs, and then a stone upside down stair, so very similar to what we did on the other side. Uh, once we get to that point, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down um, just a stone filling on the inside here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just to fill that in completely. So with that filled in, uh, continuing on, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone full block that's going to go on top of this glass pane here. And then we're going to place down a polished black stone button to the side of it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take our stone. We're going to go ahead and build a row going all the way up to the front here. So I'm just going to go ahead and run a row of stone full blocks all the way up to the front of the ship, like so. We're going to place down a polished black stone button here on the front, like gray stainless pane, and a side wall. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 polished black stone buttons, followed by a stone upside down stair, polished black stone button, and a side wall, like gray stainless pane, two buttons, a glass, a glass pane, a button, a glass pane, a button and then a stone up sound stair and that is going to basically conclude what we have here for that and this is what the left side uh, will look like of the ship and again optionally you can just go ahead and fill the middle in here if you want to again this isn't something you need to do but just something that may be nice just to kind of fill this in and make the build a little more solid of course so we'll fill this in with stone and once we have that all complete we have our layer four of the build all wrapped up and good to go. So just like that, we have that all filled in and here's what the carrier should look like for the top down view so far. With that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layer, which will be layer number three. So real quick, before we go ahead and move on to our next layer, which actually is layer number five, I wanna go ahead and talk about real quick here on this glass pane. Uh, we're actually gonna be going ahead and placing down an item frame on both sides. We're gonna place down a white bed in the item frame and then a birchwood sign on the side of it. So pretty straightforward stuff. You'll just do that to both sides of that glass pane there and be pretty much good to go. Now once that's done, go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down a stone block on top of this one and then a stone up sound stair. We're going to follow this up with skeleton schools on both sides of the stairs and stone. After that, we're going to place down another stone block in the center here, which is going to be followed with a light gray stainless pane to both sides of that stone block. Then uh, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some gray wool. We're going to place down one, two, and three gray wool blocks down the center here of the build, followed by a stone upside down stair to both sides of that first gray concrete or gray carpet 
right there, or gray wool block. And we're also going to place down an item frame on both sides of the glass pane. And in that item frame, we want to go ahead and place down a crossbow, which can be rotated face downwards, and that's going to be representative of our anchor. Once uh, that's done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone full block to both sides. Coming off that block, we're going to place down a light gray stainless pane to the sides, and then an iron trap door coming off the glass pane like that. After we have that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, inside wall to both sides, and we're going to have an iron trap door coming off that wall as well. So again, like that to the sides. We're going to take our stone blocks, we're going to place down a row of three across, and then a second row of three after that. On both sides of that second row of three, we're going to place down a um, trap door, and we're just going to go and take our debug stick there and close it like that. Then uh, for our next section here, we're going to place down a, another row of three of stone across. This is going to be followed with a light gray stained glass pane, two both ends. And then we're going to place down one glass pane going back on both ends, and again a row of three of stone going across. We're going to place down one last row of three of stone filling in that space across there, and then a andesite wall to both sides. Coming off the andesite wall itself, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair as well. Then, uh, once we have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a quartz slab on top of this uh, trap door here. And then we're going to place down a stone full block back from the wall. And we can fill the space in the middle across there too if you want. And then we're going to place down one more row of five of stone across and then a upside down stone stair to both sides like so. Then at this point, this is where we're going to be going ahead and now moving into our differences between the two sides. So we're going to focus our attention now to the right side. Now the right side here, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 13 I believe for right now, stone blocks. Yeah, we're going to go and stop right there. Um, on the sides here, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, smooth quartz slab, we're going to place down a slab there, and then our light gray stainless panes. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, and then we're going to leave a space. Um, in the middle there, which is going to be, or actually no, it's going to be an inside wall, sorry. So an inside wall. And then one, two, three, four, five uh, light gray stainless panes again. And then another inside wall. And then another light gray stainless pane. We're then going to place down an item frame here. And in the item frame, we want to go ahead and place down a white bed. So we're going to place down a white bed in the item frame like that with a birchwood sign. And then we're going to place down an inside wall. Make sure to place a block behind the wall just to kind of help make it uh, fill in any gaps the wall leaves and then we're gonna place down there a stone block next to it same thing item frame um, With white bed and a birchwood sign if you're on Java After that uh, We then want to go ahead and place down a grindstone that's going to sit on top of this slab here and Coming off that grindstone. We want to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab So we go ahead and grab the slab from our menu if I can find it There we go, and we're gonna place down a top slab coming off of it and we also just want to go ahead and place down a gray carpet that is going to sit on top of this block here. And if you really want to as well, um, you can also replace the block underneath the wall right here with gray wool just to kind of help keep that color a little more consistent there. Um, after that though, we're going to go ahead and then place down a near two stone blocks. And we're going to go ahead and place down a stone full block that's going to go on top of this wall here. And then a stone up sound stair right next to it. So like so. We're going to place down one more stone block right here, and that's going to have an iron trap door next to it. And we also, or rather, actually, sorry, my bad. It's just going to be two iron trap doors that come off those two, that stone block and that stair out to the side. Uh, when we get to this section, we're going to go ahead and place down two of these inside walls. And we're also going to go ahead and swap out these two stone blocks here for gray wool. Behind those walls, make sure to put down some stone. And we're going to go ahead and put a boat on the side here, some deployable, um, you know, boat or something like that. So we have a spruce stair and a spruce slab and a spruce sign on the side of the slab. So really simple there, nothing too crazy. We're going to go ahead and place down there a stone block right there, and then it's going to be followed with a stone stair on top of it. We're going to go ahead and then place down another inside wall there in the center, and then a stone block behind it. And then another stone block to the side of the wall with a stone upside down stair. And then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks uh, like that along the side. We then want to go ahead and place down an item frame 
on the side here like that. And after that item frame, we're going to then place down a white bed in the item frame and a birchwood sign on the side here of that. Once we have that all done, uh, we're going to then place down a lever and then a item frame underneath it if you're on Java. And then continuing on back here, uh, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair coming off this last stone block like that. Coming off the stone block, we're going to place down an inside wall and then we're going to place down two like gray stainless panes with two stone blocks on the inside here. Then we're going to go ahead and place down a row of gray wool. So we're going to place down a row of three of gray wool. And then we want to place down a block in the middle and then a second one going forward like that and then one more. And then we're going to replace the stone block behind this inside wall with gray wool as well. On the back here, we're going to go ahead and then place down a, another gray wool block in the center, stone block to both sides, and we're also going to be placing down iron trap doors on the side of these blocks here. Again, we'll take our debug stick, manually close those, and birch wood trap doors as an alternative. On the back here, we're going to place down a stone up sound stair to both sides, and uh, we're actually going to go ahead and place down a stone block here in the center as well. We then want to go ahead and place down a lever on top of that stone stair. And we're going to then place down an item frame on the bottom of that or the top of that stair, however you want to look at it. So that's going to basically create this uh, right side. And here's a bit of a look at what that looks like. And we're going to be going ahead and now forming up our left side. So over here on our left side, we're going to go ahead and place down two stone blocks and then another andesite wall. This can be followed with two light gray stainless panes um, here. And actually, this could be another gray wool right here. So you have two stone gray wool and then the inside wall like that. We want to go ahead and place down a stone block, stone up sound stair coming off of it, and then one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks forward. This last block here is stone up sound stair. And next to it, we're going to place down an item frame and then a white bed in the item frame and a birch wood sign over it if you're on Java. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down an inside wall, a stone block, stone block behind the wall, and then a stone up sound stair coming off that block. We're also going to go ahead and place down a smooth quartz slab that's going to come off the uh, wall like that. Going forward, we're going to place down two more andesite walls here, two stone blocks behind those walls, and one stone block here. We're going to go ahead and again replicate the same design that we did on the other side over here. So we have a spruce slab, spruce stair, and spruce sign on the side of that slab. Then uh, we're going to go ahead and place down our two gray wall blocks here after those walls, and we're going to place down a stone upside down stair here, and then a stone full block. And then after that, we're going to go, ahead and go forward from the gray wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stone blocks. Um, on the sides here, we're going to place down a, another crane. So we have a grindstone and a stone brick top slab. And then we're going to also grab our smooth quartz, and we're going to place down uh, two smooth quartz slabs in front of it. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our stone top slab. We're going to place down a stone top slab here, and then one, two, three, four, five upside down stone stairs. We're going to go ahead and then take our gray wool, and we're going to place down two gray wool blocks here, a stone full block, and a stone upside down stair coming off those blocks like so, and then a stone block in this space here. We're also going to go ahead and take iron trap doors. We're going to place down two iron trap doors coming off the stone block and stair. And same thing back here, come off this, the stone stair and stone block like that on the side. And once you have that done, the last thing here is to go ahead and place down a lever on top of this stone stair here on the back with an item frame underneath it. So taking a look at it from up above, this is what it should look like with this layer all complete. Again, you can take your stone blocks now and fill in the inside here of the ship completely. So again, we're just taking stone and filling this all in. So just like this. And we will have this all filled in completely for the interior of the ship. So just like that. And with that all done, that is going to conclude everything we have for uh, this layer. Layer number five of the build. With that, we're going to be going ahead and moving into layer six. Layer six should be one of our last final hard layers, I would say, because we're going to be just going ahead and... Uh, putting the flight deck up on top and getting everything ready to go for the markings and the actual deck itself. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer no number six. 
All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer six. Layer six here is probably going to be one of our longest layers as we do have quite a bit. We're going to be doing this layer. As you can see, we're going to get most of the deck kind of set up and good to go. Um, so there, again, is going to be quite a bit of stuff to do. Now, the first thing we're going to start with by doing is we're going to be going ahead and placing down a uh, lever that's going to be on this front stone full block with an item frame um, in it like so. Uh, once we have that done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a redstone comparator directly behind it like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a set of iron trapdoors. So row three across the space here. And then we're going to place down a iron trapdoor going back from both sides. And in that middle space, we're going to place down our redstone repeater with the notches spread apart. We then want to place down a stone upside down stair to the sides of those trapdoors. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence post that's going to go back from the stairs like so. In the middle here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four stone blocks. And then we're going to place down two quartz slabs to the sides of the first stone blocks. We're going to go ahead and then also place down a end rod that's going to go over this space here. And same thing over here, like that. Then a birchwood fence post, and then a end rod on top of that glass pane. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down iron trap doors. One, two, and one, two to the sides there like that. After that is done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, jungle plank. So we're going to be using jungle wood and then a stone block to the sides of that jungle wood. And then a andesite wall to the sides of those stone blocks. We're going to place down two rows of three of our jungle wood planks. And you will need to place these planks as this will be part of the top decking. And we're going to place down two stone blocks to both sides. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a lever on this stone block here with an item frame underneath it. And same thing will be done over here as well. And also for this um, stair here, the same thing, a lever and then an item frame, item frame if applicable. And then a stone block to both sides. And then we're just going to place down our row of three of gray shulker boxes. That right here leads us to our differences that we're going to be going ahead and now focusing in on for the two sides here. So to begin with, we're going to be going ahead and going to the right side here. We're going to place down a row of three of black concrete like so. Now for our guns here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a stone brick wall that's kind of recessed here. And then an end rod coming off and going forward for that first um, gun there. And then behind that, we want to go ahead and place down an iron trap door. We're going to go ahead and then come off this uh, iron trap door for another stone brick wall. And an end rod going forward again for those secondary gun batteries located here. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone full block going back from the iron trap door. And we're going to go ahead and place down an andesite wall going back from this stone brick block. We're going to place down an item frame on the side here if you're on Java. And then we're going to place down a white bed in the item frame. Again, this is going to be a Java only feature. Because after this wall, we're going to place down a stone full block. And then coming off that stone full block, we're going to place down a stone brick full block with a trip bar hook to both sides. You can only place the trip bar hook and item frame in the same block space on Java. If you're on a different version, you will not be able to. And I would prioritize the trip bar hooks over the um, item frames with the beds. And then on the bottom of this block, we're just going to place down a lever, have a flick toward that wall like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go back from the stone here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to place down another stone brick block. This is going to be followed with a trip bar hook here to the side of the block like so. And then a lever underneath it like so. In the space across the middle here, we're just going to place down a row of three of upside down stone stairs like so. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a andesite wall that's going to sit right here and then a uh, gray stainless pane. We're going to place down two stone blocks behind those and then another andesite wall here uh, which is going to be followed with a... Uh, we're going to place down a jungle plank behind it and another stone block next to it. So it's going to look like that there. Then we want to place down a skeleton skull that's going to go on top of the grindstone. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a lever on top of the stone brick slab and a end rod going forward to connect up to that stone brick block there. Um, after that's done, we're going to go ahead and then take our black concrete again. And we're going to place down a row of two of black concrete here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab our iron trap doors. We're going to place down two iron trap doors. And this can be followed with a stone brick wall here and then an end rod and then a stone brick wall here and an end rod. We're also going to place down a gray carpet on top of this stone block 
like that. Then going back from the iron trap doors, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone blocks. We're going to place down levers on top of these stone ups down stairs and then item frames underneath them like that. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then place down a um, stone ups down stair and then a second stair behind it. And we're going to go ahead and then place down black concrete behind those blocks like so. We then want to place down two more stone blocks. And then we're going to build across one, two, three, four. So you have a total of five across. And then another stone block. And we're going to go ahead and then place down another two stone ups down stairs with black concrete. And we're going to stop that right there because that's going to start the other side. And we can go ahead and continue working on both sides here. Now both sides here on the back, pretty similar. We're going to place down an iron trap door to both sides. An item frame coming off that trap door. And then we want to go ahead and place down a snowball in the item frames. And try not to... Uh, snipe your item frames either. We're going to place down a lever next to it and then another item frame underneath it if you're on Java. Now at this point here we're going to go ahead and then grab our wither skeleton skulls. We're going to go ahead and build two skulls back from the uh, levers there. So it's going to look something like this and then we want to go ahead and place down a stone full block here in the center and then a second stone block back so it's going to kind of look like that there. Um, after that's done we're going to go ahead and then place down an inside wall to both sides here and after that we want to go ahead and then place down uh, two iron trap doors so one two one two like that down the center here and then an iron trap door to the sides like that we're gonna place down another iron trap door in the center and this can be followed with an anisite wall to both sides and then a stone up down stair coming off those walls we're gonna go ahead and then place down a, a row of iron trap doors so it's gonna be a row of five all the way across then a row of three of stone, which is going to be followed up with a lever to both sides, like that. Then on the very back here, we're going to take our birchwood fence gates. We're going to place down three fence gates like this. And then we want to place down a row of five. And we're going to open these fence gates here toward the front of the ship. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves birchwood signs. We're going to place down a birchwood sign like this to both sides. And we're also going to, go and take our skeleton skulls and place down a row of five of skeleton skulls coming off those fence gates so it's going to look like that there on the back uh, of the ship uh, with that though continuing on with our other side here we're going to go ahead and go forward from these stairs with one two three four five six seven stone uh, right here we're going to set up the same thing so we have our black concrete we have the two iron trap doors and then to the side here we're going to have our stone brick wall and end rod so we have our stone brick wall here end rod stone brick wall end rod and then we can also go ahead and grab our gray carpet and just place down a gray carpet there. Taking our stone, we're going to go, ahead and go off the iron trap door. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 uh, stone blocks forward. Uh, this section here, we're going to go ahead and set up the same thing. We're going to place down our two iron trap doors and our black concrete behind that and a stone block there to connect us forward. We're going to place down a stone brick wall here, stone brick wall there, and rods going forward from them like so, and then a gray carpet in this space like that to go ahead and finish that off. Once that's done, uh, we're going to take our levers. We're going to place down two levers here to both sides, item frames underneath those levers, and then we just want to go ahead and place down pistons, so one, two, and then we can go ahead and take our debug stick here and right click them to go ahead and get rid of the wood um like that so it's gonna look like this here and here's what you should have for the top down view for so far now at this point we're gonna be going ahead and then taking our jungle planks and we're gonna place down two jungle planks in this space here and we're also gonna go and take our stripped jungle planks here and place down one two three stripped blocks going down the center here and then a jungle plank here to the side and same thing over here we're going to place down a row of four jungle planks across, followed by a second row of four, and then a third row, and a fourth row. We're going to go ahead and grab our gray shulker boxes again. We're going to place down one, two, three, and then another jungle plank to the side. We're going to place down two more jungle planks here, and then we want to place down a total of three rows of three of our uh, stripped jungle wood, like so. Then a row of three of jungle planks, two right here, another row of three, two right there in the middle, and then we're going to place down rows, or basically just fill in the rest here with jungle planks. So again, all the way back to the rear of the ship, uh, right there, we're just going to go ahead and fill in with our jungle planks to fill in the deck like so. 
Um, here is a top-down view of what that will look like once you have that all complete. As you can see, you have some of the markings going, but once we get the next layer done, you're really going to have all those markings set up and good to go. But yeah, that right there is going to conclude everything we have here. Um, actually, one quick thing to throw on is going to be the additional levers on these iron trap doors on the front. And again, we want to place down an item frame underneath them if applicable. Um, and also, almost forgot that as well, we're going to place down an item frame on this fence post to both sides. And it's going to have a snowball in it for the sp uh, spotlights. With that though, that's going to wrap up everything we have for layer number six of the build. And with that, let's move on to layer number seven. Moving into our next layer, we have layer seven. For layer seven, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a stone upside down stair that's going to go on top of this wall here. Then uh, we want to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, five, six, or rather just five. Then we have six and then seven stone blocks and another stone up down stair here on the back. We're going to place down a skeleton skull like this to the sides, then a light gray stainless pane. And then we're going to take our anisite walls and just fill in the space in between those glass panes. On the outside here, we're going to place down a stone block that's going to have an item frame on the side of it, a white bed sideways in that item frame. And then you're going to go ahead and grab a birchwood sign. And we're going to place down a birchwood sign on the side of that um, stone block. And then we just want to place down a lever on these two stone ups down stairs and a item frame underneath those levers, just like that. And that's going to basically wrap up what we have there for the conning tower. Then once you have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever on this glass pane. For Java, we got to do a little bit of funky tricks here with our debug stick, but we're going to just basically alter the properties, change the selected face, have that go down on the glass pane selected facing and rotate this so it faces backwards if you're not on java you can just place it around the glass pane you guys are lucky but it's going to look like that there um, for this anti-aircraft gun um, once that's done we're going to go ahead and start setting up all of our deck markings and filling in the top of our deck so to begin with we're going to take iron trap doors we're going to start on top of the stone stair we're going to place down an iron trap door and we're going to go back one two three four five and same thing over here one two three four five and six so just like that. Then we just want to go ahead and grab our white and red carpet. We're going to basically do a striped pattern. So we have white, diagonal, we have two red, white, and then again we're just going to kind of alternate this going down the ship. And we're going to stop when we get to this space here. So it's going to look like that there for that striped pattern. It's not perfect, it's more of a checkered looking pattern, but uh, just unfortunately at this scale it's kind of the best we can do. Now the next thing we want to go ahead and do is to grab ourselves some birchwood buttons and some jungle pressure plates. We're going to place down three jungle pressure plates across the front here. And then taking our birchwood buttons, we're going to place down one, two, three, four. We're going to strip, uh, skip over the stripped birchwood. One, two, three, four, five more of these birchwood buttons skipped over our uh, stripped birchwood. And then just down the center line here uh, for the rest of the ship until we get back to our last, or to this stone block here which we're actually going to swap out for a jungle plank and then we have our birchwood button so it's going to look like that there on the back. Now once uh, that's all done back up on the front here uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down some polished black stone buttons or rather we're going to be going ahead and changing that up a little bit uh, but we're just going to place down jungle pressure plates on top of the stone to the side here the jungle um, blocks themselves same thing here you will have to do a slight alteration with a jungle trap door on top of the end rod so you will have to do that too because you can't put a uh, pressure plate on top of an end rod and then we're going to place down our pressure plates here and just like this again just kind of filling in the deck here and we're going to go ahead and avoid this section uh, for our main elevator here we're going to place down polished black stone buttons in the corners and again we're just going to continue our pressure plates on top of the walls on top of the stone top of the black concrete like that and this is going to go ahead and continue all the way back and it's going to go ahead and continue on this wall trap door uh, upside down stair and this trap door and it's going to go across and we're going to go and stop that there so the rest of the deck here is basically fair game so anything from this line forward we're going to go ahead and cover up with our pressure plates so just like so and that is going to fill in our forward flight deck section. Now on the back here, we just have some more stripes to do using red and white. We're gonna place down two or a red stripe of carpet down the middle, 
three blocks here. Then we're going to place down white on the sides. And then red on the very outsides here. And that's going to basically complete uh, what we have there for that, uh, the flight deck markings and all that. And uh, that is actually going to entirely complete what we have uh, for the layer. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Actually, one quick thing. We actually do have an anti-aircraft gun here. We're going to delete that pressure plate right there. And we're actually going to put a lever and an item frame in. So, a little anti-aircraft gun position there on the flight deck. But that right there is it for what we have for layer number 7 of the build. And with that, we'll be going ahead and uh, probably just honestly moving into our last final layers, knocking the rest of this build out. So with that, let's move into our last final layers. All right, guys, so moving into our last final layers here, we have layers 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So let's go ahead and move into our final layers, 8 for 14. We're going to start off by going ahead and placing down a lever on top of the stone up sound stair and item frame underneath that. Then we want to go ahead and place down an andesite wall here, then one to the side. We're going to go ahead and then place down another wall back and then a stone block right there. We're going to take item frames, place them around these uh, three walls. Yeah, those three walls like that. And we're going to place down black beds in the item frames, rotated sideways like that. We'll place a birchwood sign on the side here of these two, of this right here. Uh, one thing you may have a problem with is placing the item frame if you are not on Java. Uh, you'll have to kind of pick and choose whether you rather rather have the anti-aircraft gun or the... the um, Item frame, it's kind of up to you guys. And then we're going to have an item frame here. And then a black bed sideways again, like that on the side. Birchwood side on the side of it. So it's going to look like that there. Then we want to take our stone blocks. We're going to place down another stone block back. Two polished black stone buttons on the side here. And another andesite wall over here to the left. We're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull. That's going to go back from this stone block. And we're going to place down another lever on top of this stone block with an item frame underneath it. We then want to place down one and two stone blocks down the center here, stone upside down stair, and then birchwood signs on the side here, these two stone blocks, followed by a lever on the back and another item frame like that for another anti-aircraft gun. We're also going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors and we're just going to place down two iron trap doors on the side here. We can use our debug stick here again to go ahead and make sure that we close these. Um, to lay flat against the side, and again, birchwood trapdoors are an alternative, so it's going to sit like that. Then, uh, we want to go ahead and place down an inside wall going up. This can be followed with a birchwood sign on both sides of the wall like that. We're also going to place down skeleton skulls at slight angles on top of those two walls for the front here. And then behind here, we're going to place down a row of two of flower pots like that. We're going to go ahead and then go up with a stone block. To the sides of the stone block, we're going to place down a uh, a trip our hook. Then we're gonna place down another andesite wall up. Again, a birchwood sign on the sides here of that. And then we're gonna place down a stone slab going forward from it. So a stone slab, and then we have our birchwood signs again wrapped around the stone slab. Uh, continuing on up, we're gonna place down a polished andesite stair, and then a skeleton skull to both sides of the stair. We also can go ahead and uh, use our debug stick. We can build a block coming off this wall. We're going to place down a lever. And we're going to use our debug stick. Left click this lever till we get selected facing and rotate this to come off the uh, block there. We can also go ahead and grab ourselves a barrier block. And we can go up like this and back one like so. And we can place down a lever coming off the, or the barrier block and flip downwards. You can obtain barrier blocks by typing the command slash give at p and then you'll type in minecraft colon uh, barrier. So that command there will give you these barrier blocks. They're also called structure blocks um, on uh, pocket edition or um, bedrock edition. So if you are on one of those, you can find them under the name um, structure blocks. Then after we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a birchwood fence post here and then a fence gate to the sides and then a end rod out to the sides there then we just want to go ahead and place down a polish or sorry wither skeleton skull here one more skull forward and then an end rod coming off that fence post going forward after that is all done uh, we want to go ahead and then continue on by placing down a polished black stone slab or rather first actually we're going to place down two stone uh, full blocks 
and then a polished blackstone slab, a daylight detector turned to night mode, and then we want to place down a inside wall with a black carpet on top of that wall. We're going to go ahead and place down a lever around these, this stone block here, and we're going to go ahead and go up from the lever with iron bars. So just like that. Then after that is done there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a birchwood fence gate that's going to come off this wall, and then another brick fence post that's going to go up, fence post that's going to go up, back up, and then we want to go ahead and grab a end rod. We're going to place down end rods on the side of these two nether brick fence posts, and then up again a nether end rod, end rod on oh, on top of that one, and then another end rod to both sides of that one like that. So to help form our mass on the rear. Now with that done, we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves uh, barrier blocks again, and we're going to go ahead and set up the rigging here for the ship. So Rigging here, pretty straightforward and simple. We're going to place down uh, basically three barrier blocks going back from these end rods. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, four going forward from these ones. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to place down buttons that are going to be on the side of these ones. So on the inside here, we're going to place down one, two, three. And same thing over here, one, two, three. And then we're going to place them on top of the last four. So that's going to basically complete that right there. And then going down here, we're going to place down a, a barrier block coming off this narrow brick fence post. And then one that's right above that carpet there. And we're going to place down two buttons, one on each side of those barrier blocks right there. And that's pretty much it for the rigging. Really simple stuff. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up what we have for layers 9 through, uh, I believe, 14. And, or layers 8 through 14. And that is going to wrap up everything we have here for the um, Italian aircraft carrier. Uh, Aquila. Um, hope you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you do up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This has been thanked from a son of the build, tweaked to my channel, or this video. If this does appear on social media sites, as long as you guys give me credit for it, your freezer for projects you guys are working on. Again, big special thanks to Derek Frost Westbrook for commissioning this build. And if you guys are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, feel free to check on my uh, commission system and send me an email at gary 2 by 4 at gmail.com where you can go and get a free inquiry. Uh, for a possible commission. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.